171,000. That's how many new homes our county needs by 2029 just to meet the demand and then perhaps bring down prices. New at 6 o'clock, our tenders reporter John Horn explains why it would take a pace of development not seen since before the housing bubble burst to make that happen. The apartment complex that workers are finishing up over there is already towering over the existing ones that line this North Park neighborhood. And now a new report says the county's going to need a whole lot more of big ones like that just to keep up with the demand. Oh, it makes me actually, you know, feel for my kids. Colleen Clemenson sees San Diego's housing need up close. Statewide, there's a recognition of the housing crisis and maybe we haven't been planning for enough housing. Now she has a hand in fixing it. Her job, help the region figure out how to add about 171,000 new homes by 2029, a number based on state population projections. A lot of the new development is going to be within existing communities. She points to current successes in Little Italy and North Park and says there could be new opportunities along the trolley extension to La Jolla. Going from Old Town up to UC San Diego, all those stations are opportunity areas. But the goal is ambitious. Vicious. The county would need about 17,000 new housing units a year for the next 10 years, a pace not seen since 2003. Last year, the county only authorized 10,000 new units. Unless we have a radical mind shift at every city hall in the San Diego region to be actually approving housing, we will never get to these, uh, to these housing totals and people will continue to face high housing costs, including higher rent. But Clemenson says Sandag is working with developers and cities to plan the growth smartly and chip away at that big number. John Horn, 10 News. And the Sandag Board of Directors meets Friday to send its plans to the state. That could then free up grant money to help pay for projects such as affordable housing complexes.